Hi, welcome back if you're seeing this video. Hopefully you have watched some of several of my previous videos that I have done on this very same thing that we're doing today. We are doing a mystery bag unboxing. We have this bag and then we have one more box of shoes that I will record tomorrow if you're interested in seeing that video. But today we are doing um, just a bag of clothing today and all of these items are from our local um, Goodwill bins here in Arizona and someone um, that I know goes for me to the bins every week and gets items for me, drops them off on Sunday and I get to um, reveal them to you here on uh, YouTube and then also list them all in my Poshmark closet. I'll have the link to that below. It is um, my closet name is at Mother Spears 30 and uh, I also just want to say um, if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much and if you are new, welcome. Um, I do all kinds of different types of content on my channel. Sorry, the dogs always have to bark when I start to do the beginning of my videos. Um, I do all kinds of different content here on this channel. Um, I have been a reseller on Poshmark for seven years and this year I am absolutely doing it full-time, full-time hours and um, in the last couple of weeks I have absolutely noticed a difference in my sales every day because I am putting in that much work. Um, I also am doing budgeting videos for my family and I um, again, I own my own business. I have MS. I was diagnosed in November 1st of 07. And so this is my way of trying to contribute financially to my family. And we have two boys. Cody is going to be 21 this year. He goes to college in Colorado. And then our son Taylor, who is, um, he'll be 20 in January and he still lives here at home. So without further ado, let's get into today's video. I see some sweaters here on top. And by the way, I have not looked into these bags. That's why it is a mystery. It's a mystery to you and it's a mystery to me and my facial expressions or whatever are um, authentic. Um, I have not looked in this bag. So we are looking at it together. So the first one is a cabbie uh, size medium ribbed cardigan sweater and if you don't know on cabbie items you can look on the inside tag where the um, material is and there's a style number up at the top if you just google cabbie and type in this um, serial number or style number it will give you the information you need um, to find about this particular sweater and then here is another. This is the newer cabbie tag. I enjoy selling this uh, tag. Size small. Uh, very, very cute. Very, very nice color. It's like a, a bright orange color, but not too overbearing. Let's see what the material is on this piece. This is cotton and rayon. And then the pink one is 100% cotton. And this looks like maybe some Matilda Jane here. So these are this must be just a mixture of items in this bag, which I'm totally fine with. This is Eleanor Rose. There is the tag. And here is the beautiful dress. Very, very cute colors. On this piece, let me see if I can find the size hmm I don't see anything on here I think maybe it was taken out I'm not sure then this piece is I was I was wrong on both of these guys look at this gorgeous dress it's a, a girl's dress it's a it's a dress it has two two layers here, and both adorable. And this brand is Jelly the Pug. And here is the tag on this one. 
and it is called Hey Sailor Sassy Dress. 100% cotton, but I don't see a size on it. Okay, next one. Wow, I, I love color in my closet. Um, if you go check it out, you can, you'll probably notice that. I love photographing um, a lot of color. And color just makes you happy, so. Uh, is this the front or the back? I think this is the front of this shirt. These are the ruffles. That is very cute and interesting. Look at the little pom-pom. Are both of them there? Hold on, let me see. Yep, look, I guess not pom-pom, but fringe or frayed. Okay, I have no idea if this is homemade or I wouldn't think so, you guys. Do you think that? I, I just, there is no tags on the inside anywhere. So I have no idea who made this, what size, nothing. But I do know that it's adorable. Next piece, St. John Sport. Very nice jacket. And here is the tag. It's a size medium. Here's the back. It says by Mary Gray on it. And this is cotton, Virginia wool, polyester, poly acrylic foam, and polyurethane. And this is hand wash only. That's a very nice piece. Here is... I don't know who this is. I... There's no tags on the inside. It spills very, very nice. Uh, I don't know. I thought maybe I could look at these pins or these buttons or the zipper to find out like the, the emblem or the, the logo, but I don't know what that is either. So let me look at the bottom here. All this says is professional leather cleaning oil. And that is because, if you can see that, um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can see that these, this is leather right here. The, and this is on the shoulders and also goes down the arm. But again, I have no idea who the designer is. I just know that it feels very nice. Ooh, maybe this goes together. This answers our questions, guys, because these are the matching pants. And... It is St. John, um, size eight, a very nice outfit. And I, I'm sure these are probably a wool blend as well, but I don't see any tags right now. Let's see, what is this? This is wool rich, hand framed in Hong Kong, size extra large vest I don't know if this is men's or women's or it could possibly be unisex um, it's an extra large and it's the claret I'll have to look it up but it's 100% wool and it says it right there okay that's a very nice piece uh, let's see, here is a L.L. Bean flannel. I'm going to move this over a little. Sorry, guys. Here's an L.L. Bean flannel. I believe it's women's, size medium. Very nice color combination. And it is 100% cotton. Here is another cabby piece, size medium, very cute. I love the details on the sleeves, the zipper. This is a red color. Um, again, I'll just look up the style number that's on the material tag to uh, know exactly what the name of this um, top is. Um, if any of you guys are resell or 
even not tell can you tell me like three of your favorite brands of clothing and just uh, leave it in the comments section below I would just be interested to know all right this is project Alabama size medium oh I'm sorry size 6 100% cotton it looks like it had a um, a belt but it, it does not have a belt but it is beautiful and the back of it and then the bottom you can see that let me show you the front on the bottom this is the front detail on the bottom And here is the next one, is Jams World. This is a good piece. Jams World, size extra large. It's a maxi dress with pockets, I believe. Yes, pockets right here. Very cool print on this one. Same thing on the back. Very nice. A couple more pieces. Let's see. This is Paul Smith. It's a men's XXL. Very nice. And then here is an Orvis. Polo. Is this supposed to be pink or is it was it dyed? I think it must be pink. Because it has color all over it, yes. Because there's pink back here too. Alright, so this is an extra, extra large Orvis. Really cool color uh, colorway. I don't see any flaws on that piece. And then we have one more. Looks like it's a dress of some sort. Yes, it is Peruvian Connection, which I know this is good. This is size eight. This is a dress. Very nice. It looks like it has a, a lower waist on this piece. I'll have to look it up to get information on it. But that is everything that was in that bag. So there are some really great pieces in here and I can't wait to photograph them. They will be up. This is this photo this video is going up today, which is Wednesday. So all the items in this video will be up by 5 p.m. tomorrow. So I will be back tomorrow for another video and then nothing on Fridays. Um, pertaining to reselling. I do my budgeting videos on Fridays and Saturdays if you're interested in checking those out. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy the rest of your week. I will see you tomorrow.